This is how professional video editors blur in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to use all seven Final Cut blur filters. And at the end, I'll show you my proven three-step process to blur a face or an object in your video, including a setting if missed will leave you with amateur looking video. Ugh. Let's blur the line. All right, the blurs are found in the effects browser. So in Final Cut Pro on the right hand side, click on the effects browser button to open it up. And then looky here, we've got a little category called blur. Let's take a look at this Gaussian one first. With a clip selected, you can hover over and skim the effect and you can see what it's going to do to your clip. And then if I hold down option while I skim, I can see what it looks like as I alter the main blur slider. Pretty cool. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna drag and drop my blur filter onto my clip and it doesn't look like much. So let's select it and open up the video inspector by clicking on this button with the three sliders. And we'll go to the video inspector and under effects we see Gaussian. My amount is set to 2.35 and I think it did that because I held down option and I was skimming it. It actually changed it. So let's reset it. I'll click this little arrow next to it and I'll click on reset parameter and it sets it to 50. So here's my video clip with blur on it. I can increase the amount and make it more blurry or decrease it with this slider. It maxes out at 100, but I can also click and drag down on this value to change it or up. And I can double click on it and enter a value as well. We can change how much blur happens horizontally and vertically as well with these sliders. So if I turn that down, all the blur is vertical. And if I turn vertical down and horizontal up, all the blur is horizontal. And this slider just takes it your blur and puts it on steroids. Now we can't recognize anything. You can animate your blur as well. So I wanna start off with it not being blurry. So I'll go to the beginning of my clip and I'll click this add a keyframe button. And then I'll move forward in time to one second and then I'll add another keyframe. I'll press this button to go back to my first keyframe and set amount to zero. So now over one second, it's gonna animate from zero to 50. Let's check it out. Nice, looks good. And then we can do the same at the end to take the animation off. So I'll go here to about a second from the end and I'll add a keyframe. Then I'll go to the last frame of my clip and I'll set it down to zero and it will automatically create a keyframe for me. So we've got blur and then the blur comes off. Nice. All right, select your clip and then double click on directional blur to add it to your clip. And look, we have a little bit of blur and we've got this cool on-screen control. If I click and drag on this arrow, I can make it more blurry and I can also change the angle of the blur. Whoa, and here's what that looks like. What's cool with this blur is we can animate this angle and amount. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll set a keyframe for amount and angle. And then we'll move towards the end and we will change the amount and the angle. And here's what that looks like. Wow, that's trippy. All right, let's take a look at this focus blur. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto this clip of a time lapse I made. Focus blur is really good if you want to blur out everything else and bring someone's attention to a certain spot. So here's what it looks like. But this is a really good filter for making tilt shift effects. So I'll go to my video inspector and let's change the width to go all the way across. And then I'll use this on-screen control to change my focus. I want my focus to be down here on all these people. We can tweak the emphasis of it, which makes it darker in the blurred areas. And we can also tweak the softness of it. Right now it's a real hard line there between the blur. I wanna make that a little bit softer. There we go. And we can tweak the amount. How blurry do we want it? No, that's too much. I wanna be able to see some details there. And we can also adjust the height, how much the height between the two blurring sections here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at our miniature people running around. Oh, it's so cool. It's like I'm a big giant watching all these little toys move around. All right, next one is prism blur. I'll double click prism to add it to my selected clip. And immediately we have this kind of old school retro vibe going on. What this does is it splits your video up into red, green, and blue channels. If we use this on-screen control. We can really take it and stretch it out. And that really blurs the image quite a bit. We can also change the direction of it as well. And in our video inspector, we can change those as well. We can change the amount using this slider and the direction using this angle control right here. I like this effect because it's very retro looking and it reminds me of my childhood. Next up is radial blur. Drag and drop this onto a clip of this woman that just heard one of my jokes and is laughing at it because they're so hilarious. And check out this cool effect it creates. It creates circle blurs around the center and we can change the center with this on-screen control. So let's get that right on her face like so and then go to the video inspector. We can tweak the amount. How much of that do we actually see blurred? That looks pretty good. And we can also control and keyframe the center right here with these controls. Here's what that looks like. Are you digging these blurs? If so, and you like this video, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find it? And coming up, I'm gonna show you how to blur a face like this or an object in your video. But first, I want to show you the zoom blur. 
we'll drag and drop that onto our clip and it creates this kind of zoom in towards a certain point which we control with this on-screen control right here. I can click and drag it around and you can see the change it makes. Let's put that on her back and then this one allows me to control how much of that zoom blur do we have going on. If we go to the inspector we have some more options. We can change the look of it from uniform to variable and then this amount slider connects with this on-screen control. We can change the center and then we can also add some swirl to it. Let's add just a little bit of swirl and turn up the amount so we can see that. Do you see that swirl in the zoom blur now? That creates a pretty cool effect. Whoa, her hair looks like uh, Muppet hair. It's so cool. So sometimes you might have footage or video clips that you need to unblur. You don't want to make them blurrier. Like this one right here is a little bit out of focus. Well, there's a tool in the blurry category we can use to clean this up called Sharpen. I'll drag and drop that onto my clip. And if I go to the inspector, I can change the amount. Gotta be really careful here. If I go too high and we start to get these kind of weird ghost halo shadows over here and the video just doesn't look good. It looks unnatural. So be real careful with this. Here it is with it off. Let's try it around like a seven or a five. That looks pretty good. Look at her face here and see how sharp it is. And then when I turn it off, it gets a little blurry. Here it is without it and here it is sharpened. All right, I got a clip here of a naughty boy, but he is innocent until proven guilty, so we need to blur out his face. So I'm going to drag and drop this Gaussian blur filter onto the viewer, and I'm going to go over his face until I get this oval shape and it says face. I'll let go, and then I can adjust it a little bit. I'm going to move it down here, and I'm going to make it a little bit wider and a little bit taller. Now I'll go up here and I'll click Analyze. And Final Cut Pro will analyze his face and it will track that blur to his face so it stays there. Let's check it out. So it's stuck to his face. He's blurred out. It works really well. Now, if I select shape up here, I can tweak that a little bit. I can change the position. I can change the size, the curvature of it. I can also change this feathering so that just his face is blurred. And then if I go to the effects browser, I have my options in here. I can change the amount. I can tweak that up and really blur him out. All right, so now I've really blurred his face. Nice. Man, Final Cut Pro has a lot of powerful stuff built right into it. Now let's blur an object in your video, in a video. I've got this car here and there's a license plate there. We want to blur out that personal information. I'm going to use a little bit different blur filter. Let's go down to stylize and scroll down to find pixelate. This adds like a pixelation. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto my video around the license plate there. Don't worry if the shape is too big, we can adjust it in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to bring this down, move the center of it, and let's make it a little bit more narrow. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to click analyze and final cut will find that license plate and it will track it. Look at that. Ooh, so cool. I'll click on shape here and I'm going to reduce the feathering so that it doesn't pixelate most of the car. I just want it to pixelate the license plate. There we go. I can also manually control those in the effects browser. I can change the amount of pixelation. And now we have a blurred out license plate on the car. It moves with the car and it keeps it blurred out. That looks pretty awesome. And it was so fast. So that's how to blur your video in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you have some blurry video that you want to make better, I put together five pro pointers on how to improve video quality in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.